um, uh, the director is at lunch and she's not back yet. I'm so. just running it. I'm just running errands around okay. here. I know I didn't expect to catch anybody. I yeah, did. So I don't. I mean, if were they emails or were they actually? Actually, one was email. A couple of them email back and forth correspondence. No big deal. Uh, certified letter was signed by Dennis on the 16th of December, of uh, 2013. I've got a tax appeal going on next door that goes back, and I just found this out four or five weeks ago, plus or minus, that my last tax appeal to Franklin County back in 2011, they just now told me that none of the commissioners can sit on the board anymore of a tax appeal because they were considered a conflict. Now they got local businessmen sitting on a board for a tax appeal. Yeah, and I don't get involved with no, any no, appeal, so I have no idea. No, so I'm, I've, I filed that back on the 17th of, and Dennis knew all about this, mm -hmm. the 17th of July mm -hmm. when I've actually filed it. And now I'm getting certified, ma uh, certified, not certified mail notices again on a tax sale. Well, you would get certified letters on a tax sale because the taxes are still unpaid. So but but this is the whole this is the whole issue with Dennis and this is the whole issue with the county solicitor. When I disputed those taxes, nobody's proven I owed anything. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't um, there's know the there's because I mean it, we have proof that there's taxes that are owed in here. But what I'm saying so is proof. Why, what I'm trying to get at is proof. How how are these taxes derived? Because they got turned over from us from the tax collector. Understand now. Yeah. See, I went to the tax collector. She told me to talk to the solicitor. I've talked to Mary Beth Shank and who's the other solicitor? The first name I've ever heard of. And they said, you need to go tell your tax board because I don't know what to tell you. Just because somebody puts things on an invoice and submits it over doesn't mean you actually owe it. This is, the, this is what the petition was to contest. What is this? And I'm meeting with the school uh, director, or excuse me, superintendent this coming week. Uh, Dr. Podasek, I've already met with the business manager, and they're telling me they don't know what to tell me. Yeah, I mean, other than... But you can't, you can't put a tax sale notice on somebody's door without a civil due process of going through a court. And it's done once, now it's being happened again. And I've told Dennis this, and this is the reason why the certified mail went back over there on the 16th of December, which he signed. He turned me over to Mary Beth Shank. Mm -hmm. So I've been dealing with that. So why is it that I'm going here, 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 and nobody knows anything, and they're just unlawfully engaging in harassment because I'm trying to find out where these amounts came from, and nobody's telling me anything. Well, I can tell you, when you first get your tax bills, you're, you should have got, like, the original bills would have came from Jody Iker, the tax collector. Okay, time so out. that's how they originated, I understand. first of all. I understand. Okay. And you see, and that's where I tried to attack the problem mm -hmm. from Jody Iker, and she says, well, they get these from wherever they get them from. So it's going from somewhere over wherever, going to her. So I'm contacting her and say, where did you get these notice? She tells me she doesn't know that I need to deal with the county solicitor and the tax office. So what you're telling me is I need to go back to the solicitor, excuse me, Jody Iker. Okay, here's how the process works. Okay, the bills are printed up. They, how they determine the amounts are through the assessment office. Correct, now. Yes, because this, they do the assessed value of the property and they do all that and then they um print the bills I understand okay? I, I everybody can print i understand yeah. that and that's where i'm and not then, yeah i'm just telling you the process yeah. okay so they originate from the assessment office then the tax collector gets them in their possession then they send out the bills and they're they are the they are the collection agency for those bills when they Who, are who's current. who's the collection the the tax collector so they're considered the collection agency when these bills are current because you would pay... But they're on a local level, right? Yeah, because each township has its own collector. Township or county, same thing, right? No, it's all it's all Franklin County. Okay. But the, our whole county has like 28 right. different districts. Okay, right, collects. right, yeah. right. So that's how they originate. Then if you don't pay their, your tax collector on time, then they get turned over to us in here. And then we, in turn, are the collection agency. But here's the here's the thing. So the, you would have had that bill, like. But private property is not taxed. If I own the property outright, it can't be taxed. It by, doesn't matter if you don't have a mortgage on the property or not. It's still considered real estate, so you pay taxes on. But real estate. you can't pay taxes on real estate because no educational no educational government or county government can tax a property that's privately owned. That says that the government is actually owning that property. 
the government doesn't own private property and cannot tax private property. I don't know. I, my thing is, you need to talk to this the um, director, because my position here is, my job is, I collect no, I, taxes. No, I, I understand that. Other than that, I can't answer all these legal questions. It's not legal questions, so, I'm just going... I mean, I'm just telling you what how I know where these bills originate, so yeah, I can't really but, answer your questions. No, but what I'm saying is how the bills originated was the question, because I asked Jody Eicher, I went all the way back there, okay? And when I went all the way back there, I came over here to Dennis, and Dennis told me to deal with the county solicitor. I went to the county solicitor. She tells me she doesn't know what to tell me to go to the Department of Veterans Affairs, but the Veterans Affairs Office doesn't have the legal authority to say who's taxable, who's not. Well, the Veterans, the veterans Office, they would only deal with, like, the disabled veterans. They but see, the thing have... is... you. And here's the thing that I told Dennis, and it was already in writing, it was already to the county solicitor, is you cannot turn around and segregate disabled veterans or veterans when they actually fit in the clause of Article 8, Section 2C of the Pennsylvania Constitution. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what else to... And she's still not back yet? Yeah, I don't know. Mean, I, I mean, I can't help you any more than I know, what I but just told you. I know, so, exactly, right. Yeah. And, that, and so, that's what I'm saying because somebody's not talking to each other because I'm dealing with high-level folks, directors, solicitors, county commissioners, the office next door over here, okay? And everybody's telling me they don't know what to tell me. But you, the word assessment is an opinion, idea, or guess. You can't tax on opinion, idea, or guess. And I'm meeting with the school board entity, and I had the Pennsylvania Department of Education chief counsel, Joe Miller, of up in Harrisburg says that they're an administrative agency and they can't tax. And that makes local schools under the same administrative agency. I... So the contestment is, I can't be harassed by having somebody post notices on my door to, to, to outright say this is what you owe without even proving it. And this is the reason why when you change directors, I got to re-explain the story all over again. Well, when you originally get that, when you get your original bill, it shows you exactly what how they, um, like, for each amount on your But you bill. can't do that. That's housing discrimination. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. you you're, but see, that's, that's exactly the point. If you don't know what to tell me, how can anybody pay and I don't know what to tell you? Well, all I'm saying is I know what I do in here is my position. I understand. So, uh, I'm not. Of that, how, like, yeah. prior to these bills being generated, whatever, I have nothing to do with those bills. No, I understand. I compl completely so, understand. But that's the only reason I'm here is because I heard Dennis had left, mm -hmm. and I don't know where where did he go now because he would have all that stuff on a file, because he certified my exemption here, mm -hmm. before it got to the VA, and the VA saying, well, you're not disabled. I was like, no, that's tax discrimination, and this is the reason why I'm dealing with director to county solicitor. These are, these are attorneys, by the way, all the way up to the county, uh, the governor's office, and now to the to the school. An educational government cannot own or tax property. Yeah. Bottom line is, you need to talk to the director that is now. Does she have a Does she have a card? I don't have a card for her now. Because I had Dennis's. Yeah, she probably doesn't have cards yet because she's just fairly new to the office. So. Is she related um, to David Keller? I have no idea. I don't know who she's related to. Because David Keller is one of the commissioners on the board. Nothing. So. I don't know. Okay. Um, what's the what's the number here? I'm gonna give you her direct number. Because in that way, I'll just. I know it's Anita, right? Mm -hmm. What's her middle name? Oh, I have no idea what her middle name is. All right, cool. Three eight zero two. Gotcha. All right, appreciate your time. Mm -hmm.